Sergey, how are you, buddy? Good, good. How are you? You're good. Ooh. You should be good. You Look should be you. good. Look at you, man. You, you're a wow. champion. This is, uh, first of all, congratulations. Let's just start off there, man. This has been a, an incredible journey for you. But uh, how does it feel like to, to, to reach the mountaintop and get to where you were? What was this summer like for you, uh, for all the work that you put in that had to feel incredible? Well, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the congratulating me. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, the moment when we won the cup, it's already in the past. It's, uh, it's been a long time ago, I feel like. And the, the biggest, uh, the biggest emotions was right after we, uh, we finished the game and the, when, when first lift of the cup, that was those moments I can't even describe. It's just, uh, even though like lifting the cup, I saw that so many times in my visualization visualizations but it's still it's a it, it's incredible so i can i can describe that was it uh like what did you have images that like ran in your head was it like all the work you put in do you like look for your family like what what went through your moment when you when you got the cup in your hands it's it's actually it's uh the moment that you you get the cup in your hands and lifting it was like like very slow down moment you know like i try to also enjoy that moment as much as possible because uh i know how much how much work it requires to to be to that to get to that point and how many have to things come together so it's uh, it, it's not only in your control it's it's also has to be like the whole lots of little things has to has to come together it has to be something to to play in a, a game like that and just get into a flow and not realize that, you know what, just play because any mistake or anything that anybody does could mean the Stanley Cup. And it seemed like you guys went about it just playing the same type of hockey you played all year, especially those, like I, I tell you, the last minute with the puck just up against the wall. I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is the longest minute of my life. It's the longest minute of my life. I'm trying to figure out, okay, can they still get a shot off? Can they still do this? And you got to be sitting there going, mm. <laughs> like, just like, come on. No, that was actually, yes, there was a two two uh, opponents was right in front of my net. So I, <laughs> I'm kind of like, but also the, uh, I think, uh, two uh clinching games before we ended up the same way so and right i think mixy was the same guy so i knew like i trusted him that he knows what he's doing so, right and all all the guys at, at, at that moment they everybody can can tie up their grip and not allow uh, to do anything i think so it was i think that's the thing i learned the most this year about hockey is that how much of a team sport it really is watching you guys go from year to year, you know, like two years ago with all the goals scored and all the goals you were scoring. And then last year with it getting a little bit tighter. And then this year, just having the patience and knowing that everybody could depend on everybody. Um, seeing that that happen and then seeing it all come together. There's a man, I really appreciated the fact that it is a team sport. Yeah, it is the uh, it is the the hardest trophy to win in a team sport because mm -hmm. you go out go out through the seven months of the regular season with the all the travels and stuff. So the your teammates becomes as a family, you know, and you spend you pro, you you might spend the more time with them when well, compared to your normal family, you know, right. and that's that's the big moment in the playoffs. It's also like you go through the war for two two months. And it's it's yeah, and and to lift that trophy and celebrate it together, it's uh, it, it's special. It just it's cool. Awesome. You, you can just see the look in your face, like it still <laughs> soaks yeah. over you, like all the all the stuff that you put into it. How did you spend your day with it in the summer? Like, how did what, what did you do with the cup? My day was uh, was here in Florida, so I invited the uh, the people from uh, from Europe. So since I moved to North America, I most of the time I train with the European coaches. So. I invite the people from uh, from Europe and had the dinner with them, and also beside that, I had the time at, at my house. Uh, made the picture. We uh, invite the photographer to make the nice pictures with the whole family. My parents was able to come over. My sister was able to come over. It's a, it's it's a great day. It's a great day, definitely, and it's it's nice tradition that everybody can have the the, the day with the cup. Eat anything out of it? 
I didn't. No, you didn't I, do the I, Malongo, I, You eat the pasta. No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Bennett's eating the the Captain Crunch. You respect you like you you I, love. Yeah, like it, it, especially, I feel like that that trophy has so much history, has uh, mm -hmm. so many legacies, uh, legends. You know, like in in there, it's a, it's it's definitely it's a special to see my name on it with on the line with those people. You know, like with the true legends, and uh, I got so much respect. So for for the, for the trophy, I kind of more handing it than the right to take care. <laughs> You're of like, give me the white gloves. Give me the fancy white gloves. Almost, almost. Did uh? So I know what a maniac you are with working with now with reaching the mountaintop. How did you treat this summer? Like, did you get right back at it because you want to get right back there? Did you give yourself a little? more of a break like how did you treat yourself to uh to a championship summer it's uh basically it didn't change much to me so as soon as it's done i came came back home uh i saw the uh, meet met the family friends uh and then i start training so off ice and here we are so it's actually it's a very balanced summer mm -hmm. you know you don't have to think and create anything so it's it's go naturally go with the flow and uh it, it's actually i feel like it's a, it's a big advantage to have a short summer does it like how much does it mean to you just the idea you did come here to do this and and there's been different iterations of this team like there's been different coaches and teammates and styles you guys played but uh just i guess how proud of yourself that you i know it's a team sport but just the idea that you came down to florida for a goal and i imagine when you're sitting there in this parade in the rain and you're seeing this community that's that's raving about your team just like what did that mean to you yeah it was uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a great moment too definitely how many fans came out to celebrate that that victory with us and uh again i appreciate the fans for all the support they gave us throughout the regular season and especially in the playoffs it's uh it's amazing to uh to get it done together with them you got a mural of the Bobbery anywhere? You know the the. I mean, that's got it. I, I, if I did that, Bob, if I did the dive, like I would have that like painted over my. I think I would put that over the master bedroom, like right there. Like, where is? Do we have a photo of that or 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 a mural, a canvas of that anywhere? I have I have a picture of it. Yeah, I have that. Uh, some of my friends uh, gifted me that picture, so I have it at my house. But again, you know, like it's it's just uh, it's happened, so I don't give myself a hundred percent credit for that there is a lock so and there is you know it was two broken plays before and then just like i tried to throw as much as possible of my body and it's happened to to, to hit my arm so it's, it's <laughs> you ever look at that picture you go how how did this <laughs> how did like sometimes you got to be lucky sometimes uh, like it... yeah and so and that's that's what happened and uh yeah i again so i I thankful, thankful to 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 God and appreciate Him for the everything that I went through last uh, last two years in the playoffs and uh, and for this victory. So it's all for Him. You uh, you worked hard, man. I'm very happy for you. Uh, know that you put in a lot into this. I wanted to ask you this, by the way. You went to UFC down here uh, over the uh, when it was uh, during the season. Mm -hmm. what, were you there to see a certain fighter? Was there somebody like uh, in particular you wanted to see, or, or were you just excited? Because I know you love training the fight sometimes to get yourself ready for the season. Was there was there a particular guy you want to see, or you just wanted to experience it live? It was a cool tournament too. There was a, the great fighters was there, but I'm I'm basically I appreciate the sport. I appreciate the mind part of the of this sport, how they prepare, and for me to go there and see that life, that was special. That was that was I had the incredible emotions for that. It was uh yeah, it was a hell of a show. Like I, it, it, there's nothing like the way they put on the production for that type of stuff. Yeah, definitely. And the, how they prepare and how they like manage themselves during the fight. It's 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 literally you might be killed, you know, in that fight. And how they approach themselves and how they get ready. That's uh that's that, that it's cool to watch. Do you feel uh cuz I do feel like you're a guy who, you know, is ready to move on to the to the next season and get work. Do you feel like there's any leadership that you have to get everybody around to just get focused on this upcoming year or do you feel like the mindset is going to be great for you guys from the jump to defend this title no i think you know we have to it's 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 the, always the thing is it doesn't matter when you end up last year this year you have to you have to start over again 
you have to start from this from the zero you have to build up all the the chemistry or the trust and uh, all the things you know to to get to the to the point that it's all like in the playoffs that's it's it's, it's going your way and you still you you only like you can work so hard to give yourself a best chance so there is no warranty there is no guarantee that you're going to mm. do certain things and you're going to be successful that's 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 also what makes it so much fun and so ma- so much interesting for the fans because you 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 don't know there is so many good teams there is so many good players who's going to compete this year for the for the cup and uh we we are in the mix too Sergey Bobrovsky, congratulations again. Congrats. We're happy for you, man. We cannot wait for the season. And uh, all the best to you, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Great to talk to you guys. We'll take a break. Back with more after this.